Hey guys, Mr. and Mrs. Flashback here for the weekend. Um, not that good. Yeah, pretty slow this weekend for us. This is Linda. I am Cameron. We're going to go over what sold in our online store from Friday through Sunday. We sell on platforms like um, eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, things like that. We'll show you the items. Linda will show you. I go over the totals first, then we'll show you the items at the end of the video. You should see the profit breakdown. Hold on. It just is a little bit a little more centered. Um, but yeah, very slow this weekend. Um, don't know why. I did list this week. I mean, a little bit less than normal, but still did get some listings up. But for whatever reason, it was pretty slow. So let's get into it first. How did we do? So we had 26 sales on our main platform, eBay, for just over 980. I would say we usually average somewhere between 35 and 45 a weekend. Yeah. Um, on average. Sometimes we have more. Sometimes a little bit less. But our goal is $1,200. Uh over that weekend time, $400 a day. We did not hit that this week. So let's get into it though and go over what did sell. There are some good items here though. Yeah, first up we have the Divergent series. This is the four book box set, hardcover, sold for $21 shipped. Not the greatest, it does go medium mail though. Yeah. Then we got Lego Star Wars for Xbox 360, sold for $13 shipped. That one sold really quickly. Then we've got, this one's cool, a 1938 State of California map by AAA. Um, so it's a vintage highway map. Map picked it up at one of our local thrift stores and sold for twenty dollars shipped. It's actually marked wrong in my thing here, but um, I got it with a bunch of the maps we sold the other day that were from the National Geographic's, and I got a bunch of um, flyers in there for different travel things. I spent ten bucks on this like shoebox full of stuff, and then this sold how much over twenty. Twenty. So I already made my money back on this. Plus we sold the maps for sixty. We sold another map for twenty-five, and then I have a bunch of little flyers left to go. So pretty cool. Kind of that ephemera type stuff. Next up, we've got a Callaway Big Bertha. This is a sandwich, and that sold for $32 ship. The Big Bertha. It's in good shape. Next up, this is an item from Camp 2022. It's a Bulwark protective apparel flame resistant button up it's a size 3xl and it sold for 45 dollars shipped i want to say i paid eight bucks for this uh, it's i think taking almost a year now to sell but it did sell for a best offer of 45. then we've got animal crossing happy home designer for 3ds sold for 15 and some change i spent five on it. i thought it would sell a little better but we'll still make a little bit of money then this, this one's a cool is, one to look out for. Yeah, this is very This cool. is a hardcover first edition from 2014. This is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. This book is in pretty dang good condition for being a 2014 book. It does have some yellowing to that bottom area, but it's still sold for $68 ship. Very good. So that's one of those fantasy novels that people really get We into. sold some Brandon Sanderson books before, like little paperback ones and little lots, but found that one and it did pretty well. Then we've got a uh, Gauntlet Rampart. Gauntlet and Rampart, it's two games. Oh, two games in one for yeah. um, Game Boy Advance, sold for $13 shipped. Then we've got a Bob Wills and Texas Playboys CD box set, sold for $20 shipped. Dollar at a estate sale on the last day, and it sold like instantly for 20. That's what they were going for, so I'm surprised it sold, but it sold almost instantly for 20 bucks. Then we got the rare copy of Beyond Armageddon, the Biblical Revelations DVD, kind of like a Left Behind Institute, sold for $12 shipped. Yeah, Picked it up Le at our local library's used bookstore. Tim LaHaye, I think he's the one who does Left Behind. So. Oh, okay. Then we got a Sony Blu-ray player um, with the Google TV, and it does have the fancy remote with the full keyboard on it. And that sold for $96 shipped. Um, if you ever get this, do not list it together. Just sell this. This sells for about 65 bucks by itself, I think. This was listed for over 100 I thought it would sell, but it sat and sat and sat and sat and it finally sold on sale. We'll still make money because I think I'm in it for 10 bucks. But if you can, if you ever find this little remote by itself, 60 bucks. But if you buy the whole unit, I would just sell this. You're better off that way. So. Quicker sale, less shipping, easier, it's gonna sell. Get your money and move on. Things so, you learn. Yeah. Then we've got a pair of women's six and a half, size six and a half Harley Davidson boots, and those sold for $50 shipped. Those were, I think, five bucks. Next up, probably one of our 
worst for wear shirts that we've got in our stock. This is a vintage 90s Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl 30 caricature t-shirt it's an extra large it is thread. you can see like it looks like someone chewed on the collar all over there's holes everywhere there's big holes yeah there's parts where it's barely hanging on but it's this cool caricature type these shirts do sell people that like the vintage shirts like the caricature ones yeah um it's dallas cowboys too which is my team but i would never wear this it's a little rough but I'm listing it for 30. I knew I was going to get some off. I just wasn't sure what it would sell for because there's really none that were this tattered. Still sold it for $20 ship. 20 bucks. And that was a dollar at a garage sale. My friend that I buy from, he was going to throw it away. He goes, No one's going to want this. I'm like, I'll take it for a buck. And then, yeah, sold it for 12. There you go. Sometimes you just know. Then out of our Kenner Skyrail, we've got the red and blue cars with the. These are the little um, battery where the batteries go and they hook up to the little. Um, it's like the little controller the battery hooks up to the track so it can give it connection i, I listed them for parts not working because i couldn't get it to work on the unit um but this sold for 40 dollars ship. best offer we sold the track for 42 dollars or 41 we sold the build stuff to build your towers and stuff for 40 and then this for 40 so we're about 120 and a 10 dollar buy and i still have uh, the instructions and all the inserts i think i got listed for 20 so pretty good yep. deal and it only sells for like 150 as a complete working unit in this massive box so we probably did just as well doing it this way next up we got the middle barrel to one of the build your own blaster star wars pieces sold for 17 dollars shipped these like little clone trooper guns look out for this it's called build your own you know blaster or whatever like linda said uh, these sell very well still if you can find them it has a bunch of different parts on it it all hooks together there's like a side and uh, well, I think there's like three or four pieces of the barrel on the gun, and there's the sight and different stuff. But look out for these build your own blaster stuff. If you can find them, they do sell. Then we got a pack of Hanes tagless briefs for men, a size small, sold for 13 and a half ship. They're originally 30 at one point, but only worth 13 now. <laughs> then we got out of our dead stock, we've got Sunflowers Dream Petals by Elizabeth Arden. It's spray new in the box, sold for $16 ship. Very nice, very nice. Then one of our boxies sold. This is the Fancy Boxy Green. It's pretty cool. It's a watch winder. Sold for $115 ship. You only got one left or two left? At least one. Blue, I think. The blue one, yeah. Yeah, I think you got four. And then I have the watch winder base where all the, you can plug them all in it. So cool. spent 100 I think, 50 on all those. And we've been selling them for like 100 a piece. So plenty of money. I may have only spent 100 I don't even know. Then we've got Rock of Ballads, Rock of Hits on CD, sold for six and a half shifts. I'm just fanning herself because she's hot. Yeah, sorry. Then we've got Cornerstone, uh, gold, the Golden Valley Freight House, picked it up at our local thrift store, and that piece sold for $38 shipped. I spent 12 it was a little more than I wanted to. I thought it would go for like 45 but it took a while, but it sold on sale for 38 so... Then, this one's a cool one to look out for. You've always been talking about those vintage toys that you look out for. This is one of those. This is a Galoob baby face doll. Um, this is So Shy Sherry, and she is adorable. Her hair needs to get cleaned up a little bit. There's the little mark that you want to look for. It says baby face. Also on the back here, it says 1990. I don't know if they can LG, see that part. Yeah, you can kind of see it. LGTI. I'll make like a weird face when I look at the camera trying to do that. Um, I was at an estate sale. Linda was going to get her nails on, so I only had about an hour. So she really limited me on time. But I'm like, I'm going to stop at this last estate sale. This is the last bit of time I have. I got to check it out. And I went in there and I went in the garage. And there was a bunch of these dolls just sitting on this uh, table in the garage. Last day of the estate sale. Half off day. They were all marked at five. I looked at them and I'm like, I've seen these dolls. I don't know what they are, but I've seen them somewhere. I'm probably on someone's YouTube. And I'm like, what are they? So I Google lensed them real quick. So I'm like, something about them tells me. And I'm so glad I did. Babyface dolls. And um, they're from the early 90s, 1990, I think most of them. And I looked them up. And some of the ones that are a darker complexion or like from a different, not that are not white, basically, um, they seem to sell. I don't know if they're just rare. I know a lot of dolls, there weren't as many of them around. But um, this one, I looked up, and I'm, I think this is when I looked up, and I'm like, these things go for like 80 bucks plus, and they wanted 250. So I grabbed like six of them, and then some dude comes up and goes, oh, I wanted some of these. I'm gonna use them for Halloween because they're kind of they're kind of like a little crazy, and some of them their hair is coming off and everything. I'm like, 
well, I'm taking all the ones that I thought were valuable and I left them too that were kind of beat up and not. And I took the rest, but I could have just took them all because I was there and I was loading up my box, but I gave him some, but I think I got the valuable ones. And this one sold in one weekend. Again, I paid two fifty. We got six different ones. Not all of them will be as valuable, but this one sold for $135 in this shipped. condition. Um, the dress and stuff is discolored and stained. Her hair really is the worst part, I think, of her. I'm, the doll itself seems to be in pretty good shape. But again, a 1990s doll you don't think is going to run 120 I have no idea what makes them valuable. Even the ones that are the lesser ones will still sell for $30, $40, $45. Um, so we'll try to remember these cute little faces here. And if you see on their bum a little baby face uh, marking, might be worth looking up. So I got a couple more to list and hopefully we'll make some good money. Linda had to go take care of something, so I'm going to finish the video out because she's not going to be back for a little bit. Um, next, we sold the story of the Irish race. It's, um, I guess, a book. Got it from uh, probably an estate store or something for a buck, and that one sold for $9. Here's a really old item I've had for a long time. It's this Condotti. It's like a leather bag. kind of has like a nice distressed look to it. Had this one for a while. I think I got it for five bucks and it finally sold in the best offer for 60 bucks. So happy to see that go. Know nothing about the brand. Glad it finally sold. Like I said, probably one of the older items in the inventory. Uh, here's a, from our big patches. We spent five bucks on a whole box of patches. A lot of them were brand new sports related or college patches. This one's a Dallas Mavericks. I think we had a couple of them that we sold in little lots. We're down to just one left and it sold for like $7 and some change. Um, those patches were great. We spent five bucks. I want to say we probably sold $250 worth of patches out of there. And I still have more to go. And there were some older ones, like some old um, Sears uh, appliance ones and stuff that also sold. I think there was some Napa ones that sold. If you can get patches, like a bunch of them for cheap, they will sell. Not always for crazy money, but people do go after them. We also sold a Disney, we're almost done here, a little Disney 2018 resort like ornament. I'm going to see it in there. Just got Mickey on there. That one was a dollar at a garage sale, and it sold for $18 shipped. And then we saw our last thing is an Amazon Fire Stick. Um, these still sell, not for a ton, about $13 on this. It was in a big bag for, um, I want to say, $10 or something. And we already sold another Fire Stick out of there, and I sold something else out of there as well. So pretty good deal. So that's all we got, guys. Not really a crazy day. Would have liked to see some more sales. Sorry, Linda had to go. Um... But I am happy that we did sell a couple things. That doll is pretty cool. Sold the Harley stuff. Really cool first edition book. AAA map. All kinds of stuff. You never know what you're going to make money on. That's also the reason I love diversifying with our business. I like selling different stuff. Not only do I feel like it helps us you know, make money at different times of the year, depending on what we're selling. And there's always a chance. Different lines in the water. It also makes it fun for me when I'm listing. Um, just listing the same thing over and over and over again just gets real, real old. I like being able to have some variety, learn about something new, and it makes it more fun. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video with What Sells on Monday. Take care.